Alright guys, thanks for checking in Stormtopia.com and Stormtopia.com Facebook page. We're going to have our daily weather update right now. Current radar imagery is showing all rain along the east coast with this 12 through 13 storm. And it is the 12th, so of course we're underway. And I'm going to talk about um, why it's raining in just a second. Meanwhile, across northern New England, it's cold enough for some snow, but we'll be changing over to rain by later this afternoon with 3 to 6 inches. The exception is Maine, where it, it should say snow for the duration of the event. Now, on the other side, on the west side of this low-pressure center, cooler air is making its way on in through the plains into the Midwest, where we do have blizzard conditions right now from Michigan down on towards Kentucky as the storm moves off to the northeast. Now, why is the east coast seeing rain? That is one of the big questions here today. I'll take a look at the theta e. You can see how we have warm air advecting in off the Atlantic Ocean on the eastern side of this uh, 990 low-pressure millibar low pressure center okay and to the west of it it's very cold so warm to the east oh, so cold to the west and then warm and moist to the east you can see how with that rise in theta e we see a rise in moisture with more greens coming in here and we see a rise in temperatures here across the northeast which is why we're seeing of course rain now to sum it all up, what's going on right now is cool air coming in out of Canada on the western side of the storm. Too warm because of the advection on the eastern side, on the eastern U.S. for snow, and of course the mixing going on across northern New England. Now, let's take a look at uh, what happens essentially behind the storm. I'll take you out to um, Monday here on the GFS, and what you can see going on here is I'll take you out to early to later Monday we've got heavier rain poised to strike New England but it ends up missing New England offshore and we start to see an increase in conditions for uh, the m m beginning to mid early to mid part of next week with a negatively tilted cold so it's going to be cold and dry for the first part of next week uh, into the mid into mid next week with a negatively tilted trough coming on in here and then into the longer range here on the GFS around eight days out we start to see the potential rising for kind of a low pressure handoff here of moisture coming back in with a retrograding storm and a polar vortex across uh, the Great Lakes which create possibly a significant snowfall event talking lake effect snow here but um, that is of course something that we'll just have to watch as we go through time okay so yeah that's basically what we're looking at right now I uh, hope this video explained the weather clearly hope you enjoyed it uh, please spread the word about our website and have a great day.